Tell you what, feels cold to be back in Canada. I mean, good. Feels good to be back in Canada. It's alright though, we're about to warm up with a humongous bowl of broth. Yeah, let's get to it. We made it. We're about two minutes early. So we've got a little bit of waiting to do. Not sure that choosing this for episode one was the best idea. According to foodchallenges.com, it's five star difficulty level. Doesn't get much harder than that. That said, you do get the meal free, a shirt, and uh, half price on food at the restaurant for a whole year. Not that I'll get much opportunity to use it. Still, should be a laugh to try. Don't let the sunshine fool you. It's f***ing freezing today. Ugh. Table for one, if that's just, okay. Just take it where you look. I've said that a depressing amount of times in my life. I was just wondering if I could do your uh, pho challenge. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, thanks very much. It's a concerning number of losers. <laughs> <laughs> look at all those names, man. I have one hour to for the challenge. Yeah. Um, you must stay in the seats for the whole challenge, so um, if you need a bathroom break, I suggest go before you start. Yeah, it's good thinking, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, vomit, or sharing, or anything of those, or not finishing like um, the requirements like the meats, noodle, and vegetables, um, it's like voided. Vomit, comma, sharing, right? Not, not vomit sharing, that sounds weird. Yeah, vomit, <laughs> or gets caught sharing. <laughs> I get yeah, yeah. Cheating, basically, yeah. Yeah. Hope this goes better than the last time I tried to do a noodle soup challenge. Time in Nashville was not pleasant. No. <coughs> They've actually got ice hockey on TV. I thought it was a stereotype, but clearly Canadians do love ice hockey. I'm all set up, I think, just about in time, because they're about to bring it out. <laughs> Look at that. Like the sulfuric rivers of hell. I'm sure it tastes better than that though. Two pounds of meat, two pounds of noodles, and a gallon of broth. What's that like? I can't do the mathematics quick enough. 11 and a half pounds? I really should plan these trips better. <laughs> Didn't go for a pee break. Probably should have done, but uh, everything's set up now. <laughs> I don't suppose you have um, a knife and fork for somebody that doesn't know how to. I'm a Philistine, I'm sorry. The place is called uh, Miss Saigon, right? Is it named after the musical? No? All right. 65 bucks, but if you finish it inside one hour, you get it free, a shirt, and half price food for a year. Six months, 50% off. Six months, 50% off? Yes. Okay. Quite a few people have won though, so I, I should be able to do it, I think, right? I'm, I'm, I'm ready when you are, yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. That was a really good three, two, one, thank you. <laughs> I've got a miniature ladle. Yes, such a thing does exist. Nice and clean and tidy, I promise. Not on your Nelly, Senor Stretchy Belly. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to the episode. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta today, uh, which is in Canada. And we're at Miss Saigon Vietnamese Noodle House having a bash at their What the Fur challenge. You get it? It's a play on words, yeah. Pretty good one too, I like it. <laughs> That's a lie, I'm, I'm not gonna eat it clean and tidy at all. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Yeah, I think we all know it was never gonna happen. Thankfully, using the wonder of 21st century editing software, we can time lapse through much of the chaos. <sighs> This is so hot. I never learn, man. I never learn. I've seen videos of people doing these where they put the noodles in like a separate bowl, which seems like a sensible thing to do, but uh, I don't know, it feels a bit like cheating. It's not really cheating. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. The key is to try and bring the noodles to the surface. I'm enjoying the beef though. Indeed, the beef was good. The challenge itself consists of two pounds of beef, 
two pounds of noodles, four litres of broth, not an imperial gallon, as I suggested earlier, onions and cilantro. Or coriander, as we call it in England. Oh, I feel like there's something dripping off my eye. Must be sweat. Ugh. Well, it's warming me up. You want some? No? <laughs> Come on, nobody's looking. Come and help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Sounded like the uh, the Wheelstone Raider then for a sec. You remember him? You want some? He didn't want some. I think he was just going for a normal portion of fur. Oh. Maybe I should have got a second ball. My spoon has sunk. Right, I said I wasn't going to eat like a pig. I don't want to do this, but I think I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm feeling all right, yeah, I think. This is the real power move when you do a, a foot challenge, drink it out of the bowl. I remember this made it taste sweet last time. It's just like one of those chunky cup of soups now. The flavor change helps though. I'm sorry, I know this is gross. I need a straw for this. I need a straw, but I'm not allowed to get up. I can't, I'm not allowed to get up. That's the idea, yeah. At this point, I'm kind of 50 50, who knows? Your name's on the wall. Did you lose or win? You won! What a man! Cool, man. What did you do? Did you finish all the broth? No, not all the broth. You don't need to finish all the broth. You don't need to finish the broth? No. So you could have told me that. I'm gonna finish it anyway. It's pretty big. It's like two two pounds of meat, two pounds of noodles, and a gallon of broth. Which apparently you don't so have, you to don't have to finish. With broth, but you well, finish the broth. I've I've finished it now nearly, so. You don't have to finish the broth, but I, I just found that out like now, so. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it anyway. I'm not from around here. You might be able to tell by my voice. I'm English. We don't really do this kind of thing in England. Well, we, we don't do it very well, clearly. Can't believe we don't have to finish the broth. Seems a shame to waste it anyway. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, I saved the napkin in my back pocket. Who says I'm unprepared? Is that good enough, you reckon? I hope so. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. Oh, I dribbled all over my incredibly niche reference sweater. Is that can I, is, is that um is is that finished? Is that yeah, that counts? This count. Oh my god. I didn't know that you could leave the broth, so I drank the broth. But um. No, you in the press when I say you finish the broth. Yeah, most people just finish the broth. Most people just leave the broth. Yeah. You're the right. when I say that, finish the broth. <laughs> Well, that's something, I suppose. That's like a prize in itself. Just waiting for my t-shirt now. I am a winner. I survived the foot challenge and won. Just about. Just about. Thank you very much. What is it, like an XXXXL? No, it's an XL. <laughs> that's the smallest size we have. No, it's fine. Thank you. I never wear them anyway. I just kind of put them up at my house. No. I'm going on the, the end. The <laughs> Make sure you put on there, also finish the broth. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Oh, yeah. thanks, man. Thank make, you, make sure you finish that broth, yeah. yeah. Make right sure you here. finish it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, it's refreshingly cold out here now. <laughs> this is very pleasant. Which one of these is mine? Mine's a Nissan Qashqai. Here we are, that's me. Incidentally, my mum drives one of those. Really badly. She's one of the worst drivers on planet. <laughs> Sorry, mum. <laughs> Oh.
I wonder if I could use my half price discount right away on some dessert. <laughs> nah, it's probably a bit rude. <laughs>